go. These 13 things about a sequel to a spinoff that nobody ever asked for nor wanted should douse the flames of your curiosity. If not, sorry about that. Number 13. Jerry Stiller and Ann Mira voice RVs Harvey and Winnie, who are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary in Piston Peak National Park. Stiller and Mira celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary in 2014, the same year the film was released. Number 12. Chops is a parody of Chips. Blade's erstwhile partner Nick Lopez is voiced by Eric Estrada, who played Ponch on Chips. Both Ponch and Lopez used Seven Mary Four as a call sign. Both Chips and Chops lasted for 139 episodes. In The Hangar, Dipper describes the show as 139 episodes of law-breaking love. The logo, font, and theme song from Chips are also used for Chops. Number 11. The Piston Peak fire truck character Pulaski is named after a firefighting hand tool of the same name. It is part axe and part hoe, and named after its inventor, Ed Pulaski. Number 10. The red stuff being dropped from the airplanes is long-term fire retardant, called Foscheck. It has been used by the U.S. Forest Service for 50 years and is used to create a containment line around a wildfire. It is dropped as liquid as well and will remain effective until it is washed off by heavy rain. The red color so pilots can see where to drop the next load to tie in with the line of previous drops. Number 9. When Dusty is reminiscing with May Day in the fire station, several photos and awards are shown on the wall. In one of the photos, May Day is next to Sarge from Cars. Number 8. The train that brings campers into the park has the same name, Muir, on its side. John Muir was a naturalist who wrote many books and poems about his time in the Sierra Nevadas. He was also the founder of the Sierra Club and is thought of as the father of the national parks. Number seven. There are some similarities between Blade Ranger, former star of Chops, and Airwolf. After the show's end, the chopper was sold to a German firm. Airwolf, as a Bell 222, flew as an air ambulance. Number six, Dipper the fangirl is a grumman goose. The fire attack teams across America still use this type of plane today. Number five, in the U.S. version, Windlifter speaks with a Native American accent. The U.S. military version of the S-64 Skycrane is called the CH-54 Tarhi. The CH-54 Tarhi is named after Tarhi, whose nickname was the Crane, an 18th century chief of the Wyandotte Indian tribe. Number four, the UK version of the movie features cameo voice performances from the Spice Girls, Emma Bunton, and TV presenter Jamie Theakston, presenters of the London Breakfast radio show on Heart 106.2. They play a pickup truck and lady car in the bar scene after Dusty finds out his gearbox is broken. Number three, based on the failure of Planes, Fire, and Rescue, a third Planes film was not put into production and Disney Toon Studios closed down in 2018. Number two, Augerin Canyon is a contraction of Augerin. To auger in is a term used by pilots to describe crashing catastrophically. Number one. The scene where Blade saves Dusty in the cave parallels the true story of Ed Pulaski and the Big Burn of 1910. Pulaski saves 34 men who were fighting the fire by leading them to a cave. Pulaski then stands at the exit and threatens to shoot any man that leaves. By doing so, his lungs are burned and he goes temporarily blind. And that is the 13 things that you did not know about planes, fire, and rescue. Thank you for listening.